Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm in my favorite store, Micro Center, and I'm going through my favorite aisle. This is the hobby aisle, an Arduino, which is just insane. Let's let's show you guys some of the stuff that you can find here. If you guys have a local Micro Center, I suggest you check them out. Especially you guys that are always asking me, like, how can you get more experience for on the cheap? This is how you do it. You get involved with things like project kits and Arduino. So let's go ahead and see what they have. One of the coolest things is you can get Arduino starter kits. Now Arduino is this little guy right here. It's a little processor that you can program and you can make it do all sorts of cool stuff. There are hundreds of thousands of projects that you can download online that are already programmed. You don't even have to learn programming. You can download from repositories all sorts of code for these things. So cool. Look at this. We also have Raspberry Pi Pico kit. You can do some cool stuff with that. Look at all these kits. Ah, these things are so fun, the little nano. But that's not the good stuff. The good stuff are all the attachments. See, even if you don't get into Arduino, some of these attachments you can use without it. Like, look at it right here. We have a motion sensor. The Bluetooth module, yeah, you probably should use that with Arduino. But these little um, solid state relays, and we got um, low logic relays, we've got CMOS logic, and we've got five volt relays. I mean, some of this stuff is really cool. Um, you can incorporate these into all sorts of other projects. I did a whole other video where I turned a uh, power wheels, you know, like the ones that your kids ride on. I turned it into a remote control using one of these relay kits and an actual remote control chip out of an RC car. I've, I've got that video out on one of my other channels. But uh, yeah, take a look at some of these RFID modules and a little key code. That's part of it. Then we look at this side. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, let's just start going through some of the stuff. Jumpers, you can find that kind of stuff in these aisles. That's so cool. Look at this. This is a little CAN bus shield. shield. This will go on your Raspberry Pi. There's a variety of different things. They're called shields. And this guy is really cool because you can hack your vehicle. You can actually download code, run it on your little Raspberry Pi, and you can see all sorts of data from your vehicle. Coolant temperature, knock sensor, all that kind of stuff. You can basically hack your vehicle using one of those through your ODB port. Um, let's see, we got servos. Got a variety of different servos. Now you can use these in any project, guys. Look at this. We got little uh, stepper motors. What are these? Oh, servo drivers. Very cool, build your own servo drivers. Very neat. You can get a lot of these type of breadboards where you can assemble them yourself. Oh my gosh. I get excited just looking at this stuff, guys. What is this? A circuit playground blue fruit, Adafruit. Bidirectional shifting levers, screw down terminals. Oh my gosh. These things are worth their weight in gold when you need them. How cool. All sorts of different wiring jigs. What a cool store, isn't it? Look at these. Now, I've seen things like these actually go bad on circuit boards, especially when you get around industrial circuit boards. Very interesting that they have stuff like that here. That's good to know because. When things like that break, usually you have to throw it out. All sorts of ribbon cables. And these are special because these ones here are already terminated for pins. So if you need to figure out a pin out or something, you can use those. Teensy. Okay, there's a little microcontroller right there called Teensy. Neat stuff. So guys, there are all sorts of these electronic stores and you know, this is Micro Center, it's based on computers. However, they do have a hobby section, but there's all sorts of electronics and hobby stores probably near you. And you should just go there and walk around. I know it's some real nerd shit, but you never know what you're gonna find, man. You never know what you're gonna find. Look at this, little mini keyboards. How cool is that? But this, this is how you get good at your craft, is you experiment, you explore, and you allow your curiosity to run rampant hopefully not ruining you with credit cards and stuff because you can spend a lot of money at stores like this. But uh, interesting place, you can get things like a 
breadboards and whatnot so you can experiment with circuits and if you blow it up who cares it's 30 or 40 dollars oh well buy another one and try again right it's better than blowing up a piece of medical equipment so anyway go to your local electronics store just type in electronics or electronics hobbies on google maps and you'll find stores like this probably near you thanks for watching guys